Hello traders. So today's video is about trend line as we are going to move to the forex crypto and stock market in the coming time. So I thought this is the best time to make a video over trend line. So this is totally about trend line, how to draw them properly and what is my concept about trend line. So first of all, what is trend line? So basically a trend line is a line that shows us the trend like the upward direction or in the downward direction or maybe sideways. So what basically we need to have in order to draw a perfect trend line or a better trend line. So for me, I use two reversal points, two big reversal point to draw a good trend line. Sometimes people, I, saw, I, I see traders that they are using the smaller rejection and they are drawing the trend line like uh, first let me find and will show you what they are doing wrong according to my concept and so first of all let me draw let me help uh, let me draw the trend line according to my concept so in this uh, chart you can see that we have two good reversal point two good pullbacks like here second one is here here as well here as well and these are some good pullbacks like let me first draw the trend line like if we use this trend line and I use the wig portion to draw my trend line. This is what my concept is. So you can see if we use the wig. So if you if you use the wig, you can see that we get some good reversal point from this trend line. As this is a weekly chart, it is a seven day candle. The one candle shows the seven day time frame. So don't get confused that this is only a single candle if you go in a smaller time frame you will find that this is not a small pullback it's very big so this is not a small pullback second thing if we use like this portion of you can see the market again reversed from the same level now let me show you what some of the traders are doing wrong so if like me find okay. okay yes suppose if you are in this chart and you draw your trend line from this higher low to this higher low and you think that your line is good but it's not why for me if you look carefully here the market just reverse from this level till this level and again it reverses and this is not a good pullback for me it's not a strong pullback for me strong pullbacks looks like this this and this in which the market gets a huge like uh, reversals okay it was uh, like in that case if you see it was going upward for a longer time and then it started going down and it was not able to came back again so this for me this is a good turning point so you need to find two strong turning points and then using them draw your trend line and you will see some good results in your chart like in that case if you see it is Canadian CHF chart and uh, it is seven day candlestick you can see so if you look carefully in this chart you will find some good turning points like here 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 as well and one here one here and here so let's let's use them and draw our trend line so we will use the wick portion to the wick portion and you can see the market reverses as this is a seven day candlestick so don't get confused this is a good reversal point let me show you in the one hour chart it will help you to understand this strength okay let me see where okay i'm where is chart i need to see the time actually come on what uh, 
Okay. What is happening? Just a second. It's just about the internet. Okay, let me move to the different chart. So the basic point is to use the two big turning point, join them and use it as a trend line. This is the whole concept. Now, there are two types of trend line, the major one and the minor one. The major trend line is about the higher time frame and the minor trend lines are about the lower time frame. So if you are drawing your trend line over a seven day chart or a daily chart, then your trend line is a major trend line in comparison. If you are drawing a trend line on a hourly chart, so it is about the comparison. If you are trading like on a monthly chart, then a weekly trend line is a minor trend line for you. So it is about what time frame you are using to trade. If you are trading like one hour on a one hour chart, then I will advise you to use the major time frame to draw your trend line because they are more reliable because they cancel out the noises in the chart. If you are trading on like four hour chart, then try to use a daily chart to draw your trend line because they will, they are more, much more stronger than the trend line that you draw in your four hour chart or like whatever chart time frame you are using. So always try to increase your time frame to draw your trend line and then go back and trade with using the same. This is the concept because for me major trend lines are better and they cancel out the noises it makes our prediction much more clear and we can able to see the changes so if you are drawing a trend line always try to use the major time frame and then go back and use it in your trading time frame so this is about now how to draw a channel it, this is very important and uh, some of the traders uh, I have read like two or three PDFs and I found out that the traders uh, used to say that the 45 degree angle is the best for a trend line to continue. And I think that this is uh, sometimes correct, sometimes maybe wrong, but until and unless the market is going in an upward direction or a, in a downward direction, the trend will be the same. So if you find that the trend line is getting weaker, like, uh, like in that case, let me draw it first. If we use two big turning points, you can see this is these are two big turning points. And if we try to find out the angle and, and I can say that it's like almost 35 degree, which is quite good. And you can see it, it continued its trend. So uh, don't go over the maths. Try to use them on a bigger reversal point and you will see good results if you use them wisely. Don't fall in the trap of like 45 degrees is the best and I need to find the best trend line and just placing your trades. Try to find strong reversal points and then draw your trend line. And for me, the market is going up and the trend line is showing in upward direction. So it doesn't matter if it is 35 degree, 20 degree. For me, it's a uptrend and it's not a ranging or a downtrend. And so this is what I think. I am not saying that you should follow what I'm saying. This is what I think personally and always try to change yourself whenever you find that you are going wrong. Try to analyze the market. Now talking about the channel, which is very important. So um, some of the traders said that drawing a channel is like uh, you have to make a parallel line according to your trend line. Like uh, let me go with this chart. Okay. So first of all, I will remove it. So as you can see, this is a weekly chart. So what they suggest is to draw a trend line like I will draw it from this level to this. So this is a trend line. And now if you just copy the trend line, you will find out that you can make a channel here. So let me just go and see. So if we use two points, this line this is a trend line that we have drawn by using our levels and if we copy the same trend line with the same angle you will find out that the uh, the market was not able to even go near to these trend lines so don't uh, for, for person i personally advise you don't use the parallel trend line try to make your trend lines uh, fold according to the 
market because market is not maths driven it is emotional and it is greedy sometimes it is fearful so always try to fold your strategy your analytic analysis according to the market condition don't try to copy something that someone is saying and so it 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 copies for me as well i'm not saying that you should follow what i am saying try to analyze it and then you will find that sometimes folding your rules a little bit can help you much more so try to draw your trend line try to draw your channels according to the reversal points not by just copying or making a parallel lines this is what i think and this is how you can draw channel and trend line how to use them use two big turning points try to use major trend lines and